this is Tom from Melheads, and I'm sitting in a van with Obsessive Compulsive. How's it going, guys? Great. Yeah, it's cool, man. <laughs> we feel like shit. <laughs> so you all sound very, very alive. So, uh, okay, for our listeners who don't know the band, can you, like, tell us a little bit about you guys? Uh, we're, uh, we're from Manchester, um, by a few random other places, which aren't as good as Manchester, so we don't say. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've been together for about six years or something like that, give or take. We've been touring about five, and um, we smell really bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah look, look, luckily, people on the internet can't smell us, so... Uh... Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Lucky. you've got your uh, first full-length album coming out. Yeah. Is this going like, to be much different from the EPs you put out, or...? It's a natural progression, I'd say. It's, it's, it's evolved a little bit along the way, hasn't it? Like with yeah, yeah. different drummers coming and going, we've sort of changed style a little bit, but it's, it's got the same core sort of groove to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's because with an album you can um, you can be a little bit more, you can be a bit wider yeah. with the songs you're writing and stuff. So we've done a few um, a bit more, slightly more experimental for us songs. But yeah, it still it still sounds like us if you've heard the EPs then. You've got a good basis for what it's going to sound like. That's cool. So uh, you work with uh, Russ Russell, who's producer on this. Mm-hmm. And obviously, for anyone in the UK, they should know who he is because he's worked with Napalm Death, Evil, Wild Hearts. What was it like getting to work with him? Russ well, is he's amazing. A, he's, fu- he's a god. <laughs> god on life, man. Russ is a god among men. <laughs> we we loved him. We had an absolute ball recording with Russ. Just everything was really fucking chilled, and yeah. you know, there was no pressure or nothing. He's really good at what he does. Everything sounds amazing, so can't fault the guy. Excellent. He's, he's permanently enthusiastic about everything, yeah. you know, which <laughs> helps perk you up if you're having a light day when you're just a bit tired and knackered. Yeah, and like, like, like for instance, I was, I, was, I was laying down tracks, I was having a bit of trouble with one, and he just said, Listen, take it easy, go and have a break, come back in five minutes and do it. and yeah, any, anyone else could have just been like, come on, you need to do this, you need to do this, but there was just no pressure at all, it's quality. Yeah, it was lots of fun. Very cool. So you've uh, you've set up your own record label to put out this album. Uh, what made you want to go the whole self-release route? Well, we've always done everything ourselves so far, so um, it didn't really seem... It just seemed like the natural thing to do, um, and we didn't want to sort of shop it around to loads of people and and be sort of put up, you know, in, in front of a judge and jury and like, you know, we we we're really proud of what what we're doing. We like our stuff, so we just thought we'll release it ourselves. We'll just do it ourselves. It, it, in this day and age, you can do that. So and it gets it out there quick as well. It's out there quick, like, yeah. You know, we can put it out. We don't have to go through any long processes of like the labels do with. We have to ask questions, get yeah. permission. We just get it, yeah, yeah, yeah. get it straight out there, get it straight out to the people who want to hear it, and it's great for us as well because then we don't have to like, you know, we can get straight out, we can tour, we can play the songs, and we've had a lot of setbacks with with our lineup, so we've we've wanted to do this for a while, and we didn't want any more things to have to delay it, so yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, you've definitely got like a strong do-it-yourself ethic. Do you think it's like this is important for new bands starting out these days? Yeah, you, the world doesn't owe you a, a favour, yeah. it doesn't owe you a living. You, if you want to do so, anything in life, you know, you've got to work your balls Get out basically. there and do it, you know, you, as soon as you've got your songs, book a gig, go play a gig. As soon as you played a gig, book a gig not in your hometown, just get out there and do yeah. it. Totally. Totally. So, uh, as a self-releasing band, how does, uh, like, peer-to-peer and file sharing affect you? I mean, like, is it more important to, like, get the money for every album, or is it more important to get people through the doors at the gigs? Both are really important. Yeah. File sharing is really good for um, for getting your name around, and, and the internet's done wonders for bands. But it's also people I think have lost the value a little bit of music, and when we are we have put all of our own money into doing this, and it's it's not cheap to record an album. So we do need people to buy the album to so if you support us, you know, put your money where your mouth is. It's not about making money. We don't care about having loads of money, <clears> but we need to be able to carry on doing what we love doing. Yeah, and that's what's important. If we don't make the money back that we've spent on this album, we can't make a second album. So that's that's basically how it works. We we all have um, day jobs to pay the rent, and but for, if we want to carry on doing music, we've we've got to make it back somehow. And we don't make a lot on gigs either. So yeah. Okay, so uh, you're about a week into this tour. Like, how's it been going? 
apart from not washing. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> it's really cool. We, uh, the guys in the Sorry in the Sinatra is a race. We get on really well with them. We're just having a blast. We're just so gutted today's the last day. <laughs> yeah, we're actually yeah. devastated. We're we going to miss like them. We're going home after an amazing holiday and we've, we've made some new friends and um, we're never going to see them again. We're all going to have to be <laughs> pen pals for a bit. But we've had a really, really good time this week. Yeah, we? we've had some fun. Definitely. Any amusing stories oh, that you can well, actually tell? Quite a few. <laughs> Going like, to prison? Mm, quite a lot. <laughs> uh, we had, uh, uh, obviously there's a, the Wild Hearts connection, Ginger from the Wild Hearts slept on our couch the other night, which was pretty... <laughs> More like passed out on well, yeah, passed out. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, God. It's just, it's just been a mad week, man. It's been quality. Yeah, yeah. Fucking quality. Cool. So have you been playing many of the new songs on this tour? Yeah, we've, we've been mainly playing. been playing. Yeah. New yeah, we've been trying to throw a couple of old ones in each gig if we can, it's kind just of to sort of keep people happy that have heard it before, but introduce them to the new stuff. Because we're a support band as well, we only get a short set, oh, yeah. so we've not really had a chance. Hopefully, later on in the month when we're playing our own shows, we'll be able to uh, throw in a, three, a few more new ones and stuff. Old ones. <laughs> new and ones. new ones. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so obviously tonight is your last night supporting Sarah and Sinatra, so what, what are your plans after tonight? Uh, we're going, yeah, we're going <laughs> to drink lots tonight and have and a really good tonight. gig, um, and then we're going to go home, um, and then we're back out again. We're out in Winchester and Halifax this week. Uh, next week we're playing Nottingham, London, Hastings, Portsmouth. Yeah. So there's um, uh, headlining dates? Uh, some of them are we're, we're all our because we book all our own shows and we're not um, we're not particularly we're not a big name or anything like that. We sort of have to beg and beg for and steal. So some of them are supports. Um, some of them are we're on last. I wouldn't really call it a headline. Filling gaps in between yeah. on the way from A to B. We've got a fetish club in London. That'll be fun. That, that does sound quite yeah, fun. Yeah, very excited about <laughs> that. Yeah. So uh, when's the new album out? It's May the tenth. May the tenth. Cool. You can pre-order it now, though, on yeah. Amazon, H&B, Play. This is the bit where you're getting to see now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you can pre-order it, you can pre-order it. Please pre-order it. Um, and, yeah, <laughs> come and see us. We're touring, and we don't want to play to uh, the other bands, so... <laughs> OK, guys, thanks for hanging out and having a chat. It's been great. Thank cool. you. Thank you.